a renewed battle over abortion rights. We need consensus on this. I'm pro-life. I don't apologize. She's promoted a culture of life. So if a 13-year-old, though, in Arkansas is raped by a relative, that 13-year-old cannot get an abortion in Arkansas. Are you comfortable with that? At this particular point, the only exception in Arkansas is to save the life of the mother. There has to be reasonable exceptions, such as the life of the mother and in cases of rape and incest. A 15-week minimum. Uh, if you did have both houses of Congress and were President Hutchinson, would you sign it? Yes, I would sign it. Uh, I would prefer that this is an issue that's resolved by the states. Senator Graham's 15-week abortion ban lands on your desk. Are you going to sign it? Well, we're going to look at it. We're looking at a lot of different options. We got it back to the states. Uh, we did the Roe v. Wade thing, which have been, they've been trying to get it done for 50 years. I happen to believe in the exceptions, the life of the mother, rape, incest. Would you sign a federal abortion ban into law? Uh, what I'll do is negotiate so that people are happy. Some people are at six weeks. Some people are at three Where do, weeks, two President weeks. Where is President Trump? Uh, President Trump is going to make a determination. I don't agree with the former president who says this is a state's only issue. I think looking to the Congress of the United States, uh, creating a, a, a minimum protection, 15 weeks. I fully support efforts to take the abortion pill off the market. I want to commend Florida and their governor for moving the heartbeat bill. We recently signed the heartbeat bill to protect life. There's a role for both the federal uh, and the state. So if that 20-week ban reached your desk, would you sign it? 20 week ban, definitely. If I were president of the United States, I would literally sign the most conservative pro life legislation that they can get through Congress. Even if it was six weeks. I'm not going to talk about six or five or seven or ten. Not a full out federal ban because I don't think that's been put on the table. I think what Lindsey Graham has put on the table is 15 weeks. Let's let the states work this out. The next president must find national consensus. The pro life laws that have passed in strongly Republican states will not be approved at the federal level. I think the the decision that was made returning the power to the states was the right one. I've been saying for years as someone who's pro-life that the way these decisions should be made is state by state. They shouldn't be federalized in any way. It's now back to the states where it ought to belong. I think every state should decide this. I would sign a 15-week ban because I think that that would save a tremendous amount of babies. This is an issue for the states. But I also think that that's why states should adopt a pro-life stance. Health of the mother is an automatic exception because that's still part of being pro-life. On rape and incest? On rape and incest as well. I think those are exceptions. I have been clear that I'm against a federal ban. Should a woman who lives in Louisiana have a different right than a woman who lives in Virginia? That's part of the pluralism of American democracy.